Hey there, folks, and welcome to today's edition of everyone's favorite on reality show, Lies About Celebrities, where we bring you the hottest lies about the biggest celebrities. Our first hot and juicy lie is that George Clooney has checked himself in the Betty Ford Clinic in order to recover from a lifelong addiction to chain-smoking opium-laced cigarettes. He has lost total control over his bowels, he has been groping the attendants, and he's taken to calling all the doctors mommy. That is a complete and total lie. Our next exciting and completely fictional story is about Julia Louis Dreyfus, who recently announced her engagement to Tusky Pete, the lead walrus at the Florida Marine World. They met during a charity event and immediately bonded over their love of foreign films and sushi. The two plan a fall wedding with the theme being Romance by the Sea, and they'd like everybody to know that they're registered at both Tiffany's and Larry's Bucket of Bait. That is, of course, a complete and total lie. And our final lie for today, Barack Obama is definitely not a soulless evil robot sent from the future in order to prevent us from recovering from the very profitable economic collapse he instigated. He is, in fact, a demon sent straight from hell in order to achieve the presidency, wait six years, and then bring on Armageddon by declaring war on Turkey. He feeds exclusively on the suffering of the innocent. He has no heart, no soul, and no blood. And he is, of course, Kenyan. All of what I've just said is a complete and total lie. All the lies we have for this week. But tune in next week when we'll be lying about Brad Pitt having a sex change, Julie Roberts having a penis, and Dennis Miller having a career. See you then, folks! If you cannot toss your heart gaily